Hello, hello. Happy Friday. Oh, did you see the light just pop on? <laughs> My name is Tina. Yes, Tina Marie here on Friday to navigate these energies. This is where I, uh, I connect with you. I ask how you are. I try to help you in these crazy and intense energies that uh, just seem to keep on hitting and they're gonna hit us all differently. <laughs> and so we're just gonna do this thing together, right? I've got some cards pulled. I don't know exactly what the messages are yet because I'm gonna receive them in the moment. But to start off, how are you? How are you this fine Friday? Um, let's jump in first to some of what's going on and then how we can make it better. <laughs> um, for one, there are, are solar flares that are really affecting us because what solar flares do is affect the Earth's electromagnetic field. So if it's going to affect the Earth's electromagnetic field, guess who else it affects? You? Me? Yeah, it's going to affect our field. That means it affects our aura. When it affects our aura, it can affect everything on a physical, emotional, mental level. I know some people right now that are physically sick. I myself am going through moments of being tired followed by moments of having energy. And I'm struggling, I'm really struggling to be present. Uh, and I'm just watching it because then my mind wants to right away criticize, right away let me know what I've done, what I haven't do. And so I'm trying to just zoom back and just observe. So being an observer right now is gonna be really important. Um, we're going to be entering the eclipse season, which is all about change and transformation, but I don't even want to go there yet. <laughs> Let's talk about how the sun is going to be entering Leo. We have a new moon in Leo on Wednesday, so I brought this guy. Look at Leo. I love on this card, it says intuition, knowing, sensing, trust. Uh, the other thing that I like that I just read um, yesterday in a blog, um, what is the astrologer's name? Raven Fal Caldera uh, calls this new moon in Leo the sun child. Isn't that beautiful? Uh, what elite Leos are creative. Um, this is about expression. Uh, this is about shining. It also brings in a very optimistic energy. And that's coming Sunday. New moons are all about manifesting. So start to really, as the observer, become really present of what energy you're putting out there. Now this isn't to beat yourself up if you're negative. I just told you I'm struggling to be present. But if you can observe and watch it happening, guess what? Then you're in control of your thoughts, or at least more in control than if you're you know, off allowing everything to affect you. So keep pulling yourself back and then placing it with something new, um, some kind of affirmation, some kind of um, expression. For example, <laughs> here's an expression. Um, earlier today, I was in that period of not being present, feeling the heaviness of a lot that's going on because I've received Gosh, in the last few days, I've received just a lot of news that let's just say isn't the most pleasant and it doesn't feel good and I feel a lot. And so I started to feel the heaviness of this. And then a song on the radio came on and I just, even though the last thing I wanted to do was dance, I just started to dance. What do they say? Fake it till you make it? I never liked that expression, to be honest with you, but you know what? When I started to really just get myself into dancing and moving my body, it shifted. It works. Right before I came on here, I gotta be honest with you. I'm gonna be totally honest. I didn't wanna do this. I was like, oh, and I was like, oh my God, but I love connecting with everyone. What is this? And then I started to get emotional, but I love this work. 
I put on a song and I started dancing and then I was so excited to connect with you guys because look, those things that come up, they might feel real, but they're not. It's something moving through us. Sometimes it's not even ours. And so when we give it too much energy, we become victim to it. Sometimes we need to slow down. Sometimes we do need to rest and nap. Sometimes we do need to move through it. Now, I don't know where you are in that, but in shifting these different things, it's going to create a change. It's going to open up your aura. So I want to ask you, what are you celebrating? If you're not celebrating, what can you celebrate? And really think about this. And hey, you guys, I see you coming on. Ah, uh, yes, the migraines could absolutely be the solar flares. It could be everything from physical issues to emotional, um, emotional everything. I mean, it's one of those things where you look at the symptoms and you're like, this is what it seems like it always is um, for all of these different cosmic things. That's why I don't go in too specifically uh, because intense is intense. But when we can just kind of, you know, make an overlighting of this is what's happening, we can then just say, okay, and now how do I need to take care of myself? Um, how do I, how can I nurture myself? So what can you celebrate? I want you to think about it. What can you honor? What can you allow? And what can you change? And have this in your mind and awareness. So when you're going through something, I didn't want to celebrate in the car. I was feeling that heaviness and it was just like, move through it. I can just celebrate this moment that I have hands, that I'm in a car, that I'm in motion. Something so simple. What can you honor? Maybe honoring, you know, you're saying you have migraines. Not that you want to honor that, but maybe honoring, okay, I need to take care of myself and I need to rest. Um, perhaps you're emotional. Maybe having a good cry and just honoring where you're at. And being okay with it is the thing. Give yourself permission to be there. What can you allow? How can you allow more love in? How can you allow self-care to be something that isn't just something that makes the to-do list? It's the requirement before you even do the to-do list or start the to-do list. Right? What can you change? So these are things that came into my meditation and my head's buzzing like crazy right now. It's like really buzzing like crazy. So I'm going to say them again <laughs> just so that you get them. What can you celebrate? What can you honor? What can you allow? What can you change? So these are all things that you can just bring into your uh, awareness. Now, this Leo new moon is for you to plant the seeds for the next six months. So that's why we just want to be mindful. Uh, remember, the, uh, it's the sun child, creativity, expression. Uh, just really quickly before I jump into the cards, what does all of this mean, you guys? <laughs> the solar flares, the new moon, the cosmic this and that. Our energy is being recalibrated. It's being upgraded. We are purging. We are purifying. We are shedding. I know we hear it a lot, but that's what's happening. And as it's happening, we're going through all these different stages. And that's why we can, when we can just shift and remember, what can I celebrate? How can I become present? What do I need right now? What does my soul need? What can I allow? This is how we can do the dance, as I keep telling you all the time. Uh, so the cards, hope is our first one. And when I saw this card today, I was immediately, I went to, um, oh my gosh, Chester, Chester Bennington, is that his name? Who just committed suicide from Lincoln Park. And I saw this card and it was just like, ah, uh, you know, when all hope 
is gone and you see no light and it's diminished, we make poor choices. We don't think about what it's going to affect or how it's going to affect around us. Uh, so where can you celebrate, honor, allow, shift, change, reach out so that you see the light or at least know that the light is there? How can you be of service to someone else so that they can see, feel the light? So this really, to me, is so significant, and I can't really get it in there good. There we go. Look at that being in the light. The next one, same kind of thing. Health. See how she's shimmering? So this is body, mind, and spirit. We tend to just either think of what's going on in the mind, or we over-identify what's going on in the body. And we forget the glistening spirit. Guess what's the most important and guess who you are? Your spirit. So when we're out of balance with our spirit, when we're out of balance with our soul that doesn't know all this shit, the soul is pure. The soul is radiating love always. Our soul in its purest form is innocence, is playfulness, is not only hope, but this light. So when we over-identify with our thoughts and with our feelings, be they physical, emotional, limited, whatever, we have stepped out of the light. So the first thing that you want to do is step back into the light, is nurture the soul, is make yourself dance or sing a song as silly as it is. And I know this is hard. I've told you guys, I have been through darkness that I don't even like to talk about. So I know I do. And I do understand that sometimes, a lot of times, you can't even get up and dance. You can't even get up and sing. But you know what? If you're watching this, you're not there. Because when I was in the darkest of the dark, I wouldn't have even put this on because it would have been too much energy too. So if you're listening, that means there's an opening. That means that you're searching. And it's like, don't give up. Just keep going. What does your spirit need? Okay, so it's aligning all three. This is a reversed card. It says, greet the dawn. And it was reversed. I don't always read the cards reversed unless I feel it. I did feel it with this one. So what does this mean? Now it's saying greet the dawn, but what if we greeted each, oh, remember I read that Rumi thing for you? Where you greet everything at the door, whether it's sadness, whether it's pain, whatever it is, so that we can move through it. Did someone write something about a labyrinth? Oh, that's so weird. I feel like, oh yes, planning to walk the labyrinth. My, my mind went to that. So thank you, Maureen. Um, think of it as a labyrinth, you know, where you're walking around. Now, remember, a maze is designed so that you can get lost. A labyrinth, which is what we're walking on, even though we may feel like we're lost. A labyrinth is always leading you to the center. It is always leading you to your heart. But you might have to walk around. And what you might walk or feel around is something you don't like. But can you greet it? Can you know that it's temporary, that it is going to pass? And this also with this new moon that's coming, um, be greeting what you want to bring in. Greeting is an inviting energy, what seeds you're going to plant that you want to take root. Here's the goddess of the weekend. It doesn't say Kuan Yin, but to me this is Kuan Yin, goddess of compassion. Self-criticism is diminishing your sense of self-worth. So Kuan Yin, um, I mean, it goes without saying, bring in her nurturing energy. Her name means she who hears the cries of the world. So she's um, in Chinese Buddhism, a bodhisattva, which means that 
she can ascend but she has such compassion that she's waiting around for all of us to get there so we can do it collectively think of that compassion and how that can open your heart to honor yourself because it's you first and foremost your self-worth and what is this all about you guys Look at all that green healing energy, transformation, creativity, wholeness. You're transforming. We're all transforming. Guess what? It's your choice. It's your choice to suffer. It's your choice to be happy. It's your choice to have an ounce of hope. It's your choice to dance. It's your choice to nap. It's your choice to stay in a state of pain. I know you don't want to hear that. I sometimes don't either. Yes, we're going to honor where we're at, but I'm talking about the dwelling. I'm talking about the story that just keeps repeating itself. These are things where we just need to keep navigating this labyrinth together and know we're going to walk around things that don't feel good. But it's going to lead us to the center. So how can we choose based on our soul, based on our spirit, based on the sparkly, right? And how can we roar and express because this is coming. So it's about creativity, shining, and it has an uplifting energy. Yay, right? <laughs> so, oh my gosh, Billy Rockham is here. He's at work and he's commenting. You want to be happy? Your choice is happiness. And just let's just look at him again because he is in each one of us. So how can you roar? How can you express? <laughs> Billy says, I'm the lion. Yep. So it doesn't matter where Leo is in your chart. The sun enters Leo tomorrow. The new moon is in Leo on Sunday. And this is about you, even though you're shedding and purging and all this stuff's happening, aligning with the spirit to roar, to move past the uncomfortable into the light. Okay? So I hope you have a beautiful weekend. Um, I'm going to have another angel forum coming up. What else? If you'd like a personal session. Billy and I are doing lots of those these days. Yes, Billy, time to speak out. Roar. <laughs> and um, anything else you need, please send me a private message. Okay, you guys? I'm just looking to see what else you guys are saying. Yes, time to make a change. Time to move the body. Time to, uh, what else? Walk the labyrinth. Yeah, go into meditation and walk the labyrinth. And yes, Billy, you can have a date with me. <laughs> we're going to a concert tomorrow, so we're going to dance and we're going to celebrate. So that's going to be exciting. So I'm super excited. Billy and I are doing a sound healing workshop tonight. Come to Smithtown. We're doing lots of sound and bringing in the angels. So you guys, um, peace, blessings, love, and all of the light sent your way. Have a beautiful weekend. And possibly Billy and I could come on and say hi. Otherwise, uh, I'll be back Monday. All right? You guys take care. Have fun.